Spanish is a highly emotional and physical language. Spanish speakers use hand gestures and express using all sorts of creative manifestations, like food, music, games, and more. Your five senses are key for fully grasping this colorful and expressive language. Are you aware of how important your five senses are when learning a new language? Learning Spanish and speaking fluently requires you to listen, see, speak, feel, smell, and even taste the language. Test your perception and join me in this ingenious and educational video where I teach you all about the five senses in Spanish. We'll examine vocabulary and easy explanations for you to use at home or in the classroom with your children. But before we begin, make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit that notification bell. We bring you new, effective, and helpful videos each week, so you want to make sure you don't miss any of it by following these three quick steps. Like, subscribe, bell button. Your five senses work together to process and interpret valuable information when you perform any action. They communicate sensations to your nervous system that enable awareness of your surroundings. Los sentidos, senses, are in charge of transmitting information to our brains. The human body has cinco sentidos, five senses that work non-stop in relaying reactions, feelings, and sensations that allow you to process information, make choices, or simply be aware of what's going on around you. These cinco sentidos, five senses, are el sentido del gusto, sense of taste, el sentido del tacto, sense of touch, el sentido del olfato, sense of smell, el sentido de la vista, sense of sight, el sentido del oído, sense of hearing, el sentido del gusto, sense of taste. Your sense of taste is responsible for recognizing different sabores, flavors, you use your sentido del gusto anytime you eat or drink. It helps you decide whether you like a specific food or beverage. It allows you to recognize and decide if something is delicioso, delicious, or sin sabor, tasteless. It defines what you like and what you dislike. Your sense of taste works thanks to your Papilas gustativas, taste buds. The taste buds are small nerve endings in your tongue that distinguish the flavor between foods. Your papilas gustativas are good for recognizing food that is dulce, sweet, salado, salty, acido, sour, or amargo, bitter. There's even a fifth mystery flavor you're probably not even aware of. This unknown flavor is called umami. The name is of Japanese origin. Foods that stand out for umami flavors are known to have a meaty and, and savory deliciousness. Umami is present in fermented preparations like soy or fish sauce curated meat and aged cheese. El sentido del olfato, sense of smell. Imagine the smell of freshly made Mexican tacos. Have you ever encountered tacos that smell so out of this world, your mouth simply waters? Well, this happens because your sense of smell is closely tied to your sense of taste. 
El sentido del olfato, sense of smell, is used for multiple functions. In general, it distinguishes pleasant from unpleasant smells. Your brain uses your nose and nasal cavity to recognize particles in the air you breathe and react to them. It relies on specific neurons that connect directly from your nose to your brain. A particular olor, smell, even has the power of awakening memories or transporting you to a specific moment. Your sense of smell even keeps you safe. You use your sentido del olfato to detect hazards in your surroundings, such as propane gas, fuel, or chemicals. The sense of smell triggers an immediate response when it senses danger, allowing us to seek safety and react to an emergency. Not all living beings react to smells like humans do. Did you know that dogs have a highly developed sense of smell? It makes them excellent trackers and able to pick up distant scents from far away. Learning Spanish comes with all sorts of delicious foods and exotic smells. Give yourself a chance to fully experience this flavorful language by signing up for a free class with one of our certified native Spanish speaking teachers from Guatemala. They'll enhance your five senses in a way that enables you to listen, speak, and think in Spanish naturally. Just visit www.spanish.academy slash free dash class or click here. Let's continue with our powerful lesson on los cinco sentidos. El sentido del tacto, sense of touch. El sentido del tacto, sense of touch, allows us to perceive and interact with our surroundings based on physical sensations and skin sensitivity. Your skin allows you to feel texturas, textures, temperaturas, temperatures, presión, pressure, and dolor, pain. Your sense of touch relies on the largest organ in the human body, la piel. The skin, your piel, has thousands of nerve endings that react to changes on the skin surface. These changes are cuts, scratches, burns, cold, or pleasant textures to the skin. The skin transports these stimuli to your brain, where it allows it to react and take action to what's happening to you. Your skin perceives different textures and sensations like mojado, wet, seco, dry, caliente, hot, frío, cold, peludo, fluffy, áspero, rough, liso, smooth, suave, soft, or duro, hard. El sentido del oído, the sense of hearing. El sentido del oído, sense of hearing, allows you to recognize and detect from the smallest noise to the loudest song. It helps you identify any sounds that come from the side, the back, or front. The human body has two essential organs that allow your sense of hearing to work. Los oídos, the ears, welcome sound waves into their conducts that ultimately reach el nervio auditivo, the auditory nerve, and travel to your brain. Using your sense of hearing allows you to communicate and engage in conversation. By listening to a person, you're able to absorb new information, vocabulary, and even recognize a specific accent or pronunciation. Training your sense of hearing in the Spanish language is an excellent strategy for becoming fluent and confident in conversation. El sentido de la vista sense of sight. Having the capacity to admire your surrounding is truly a blessing. 
thanks to your wonderful sentido de la vista, sense of sight, you can visually acknowledge and be aware of where you are, who you interact with, and what's around you. Your sense of sight uses los ojos, the eyes, for perceiving luz, light, colores, colors, brillo, brightness, ubicación, location, and profundidad, depth. Your eyes allow you to absorb information by reading a book, watching videos, or enjoying performances in Spanish. By simply opening your eyes, your brain recognizes different data. It helps you create visual memories and express yourself about what you're observing. Nevertheless, there are truly astonishing humans who learn how to move around without using their eyes. Personas no videntes, visually impaired people, are able to stay alert by developing and strengthening their other senses. They learn how to recognize their surroundings by enhancing their sense of smell and hearing. So there's really no limits to what the human body can accomplish. Taking care of your cinco sentidos is fundamental for advancing your goal to become a professional Spanish speaker. Each one of your five senses has a specific function that has a purpose and brings results. Using them properly strengthens your listening, reading, spelling, and speaking abilities in Spanish. They're also key for absorbing new information, interpreting it, and memorizing it. Take your child's sense of smell and taste for a spin by joining a Spanish cooking class together. Try creating a sensory board in Spanish for identifying textures and temperatures. Or travel together and admire beautiful sceneries where Spanish is the official language. Best of all, your cinco sentidos allow you to experience new feelings and sensations that enrich language learning and take it to a whole new level. Tell me how you use your cinco sentidos for Spanish learning. Share your thoughts in the comment sections and tell me and our other viewers what creative ways you use to make your Spanish lessons extra amusing and sensory. Continue to use your senses and don't let the language learning stop here. Stay tuned for this next educational video about the parts of the human body in Spanish for kids. I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to our channel, and click that notification bell to never miss the best Spanish content on the web.